Okay, so what I have is a bit of the actual day site that I got from uh, the area of the Rand waterfall. So I wanted to check if this is actually dacitic ignimbrite. bright. So it's ignimbrite bright that's supposed to have been uh, dacitic in composition. So it's like a bryolite. It has more plagiar clays, feldspars. Uh, should have a similar amount of actual rock. So I don't have a hammer. Have an axe, but you don't hit it with this part, you hit it with the flat. Okay, so no, it didn't damage the tile. And what we have is pretty much a hard rock, so that was quite hard to uh, damage. This is from the path and it looks pretty much the same, so they've just used the same rock for the actual path. So, uh, what do we see in this rock? So, I see some... So, it looks like we've got some amphibole, which is not flat, so there's no extinction on there. Do I see any hornblende? No, I don't see. Horn blend is an amphibole, so I'm not too sure what type of uh, amphibole that is. Do I see any mickers? Okay, so what we are looking at is so I can see vesicles in the actual rock. So that gives okay, so this seems to be a lot better. So what I look see, I see quite a lot of quartz, and that is the actual grey area. So this is a high percentage of, um, and it's greyish in colour. Then we have the whitish colour, so this is probably plagioclase, calcium, sodium, uh, feldspars. Then we have the black. So it looks like here we have a mica. Here we have a an amphibole, probably horn blend. Okay, so if we look at the diagrams, so we have the, so these are something you should oh, probably not be familiar with. So here we have dacite in this diagram here. And compared to sodium oxide, potassium oxide by weight, uh, it should have about, you know, at least 7%. Could even be zero uh, but the silica is at least 63 to 77 percent uh, so that should be the actual range and if we look at the qapf diagram you can see day sites in the same line of rhyolite so the composition of uh, quartz should be the same, uh, but it has more plagioclase than amphibole, or orphoclase, should I say. So, the actual percentage of, so this side should be like a wider colour, this side should be like a, a pinkish colour. So, that's those two diagrams. So, if you look at the mineral composition of a day site, so it should have a lot more plagioclase than orphoclase uh, compared to rhyolites. Uh, the granites should be pretty much the same, or should I say the quartz, uh, as the rhyolites. And the biotites, so the micas, these two here, should be pretty similar as well in composition. And should have more amphibole than uh, a rhyolite, so making it a bit darker. So that's where the darkness comes in, is these minerals down below. These ones up the top are quite light. That's why when you see basalt, because basalt has a high composition of pyroxene, which is a pretty dark mineral. Not much plagioclase. So this one is usually a grey colour. can be different colours. Uh, so it's also quite dark. So anyway, so that's why this material seems a lot darker than a rhyolite. I'll make another video to compare the two, uh, but uh, with the extrusive igneous rock. So, <clears throat> the ones down below, 
they solidified underground so the green structures will be a lot larger this one solidified above ground so they should have a fine grain structure so obviously the rock from the actual waterfall is an extrusive igneous rock of Devonian age so I think about 360 million years ago I need to look that up again so that is basically uh, now I can't tell the actual mineralogy I can only guess I need to rely on those who've done the chemical analysis of the actual rock so and well there is rhyolite somewhere in the area but really you just have to go around and sample and see what rock is what in which area but we've nailed down that this is the daylight ignium bro so it's just ash flow these crystals probably formed uh, before the lava come out especially the larger ones and it cooled yeah over a considerable time period not as long as a um, granodiorite which is the intrusive equivalent but not as quickly as uh, you would find it in a basalt so this would be in between the actual cooling stages probably over a few days uh, to even a few weeks anyway this one will I keep it yeah probably I don't not too sure if I actually have a day site in my collection anyway thank you and goodbye